Okay, so after a lot of trial and error, I finally figured out how to set it up so that I can record Adobe Audition while I'm doing a tutorial video on Screen Flick. So at first it was causing trouble, even though I did check it to record the system audio, it wasn't recording it the way it should be. It was recording it straight out of the speakers from my computer. So after a little bit of trial and error, I'm going to show you how I set that up. So I can't show you the actual interface for Screen Flick because I'm actually recording this tutorial right now, but I can show you some screenshots so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. So the first thing you want to do is record your microphone. So I have a blue snowball microphone and yes, it looks kind of weird, but it is what it is. And then you also want to check the record system audio because what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to create a tutorial video where I'm trying to show people how to edit sound in Adobe Audition. So the reason why it becomes a little bit complicated is because both Screen Flick and Audition are trying to control the audio hardware and sometimes it's canceling each other out. So what's going to happen is you're going to check this record system audio, you're going to click this audio extension button, and if you've never set up the system audio preferences, you need to look in the documentation for Screen Flick. It's not that hard, but it's going to have you install the Soundflower driver. Um, so I've already have mine installed and I could have uninstalled so you won't see this until you actually install it. So make sure you read that um, information because it's not too hard to set that up. So once you've installed that and you've checked record system audio, it's not going to automatically work for you. It will record your voice through the snowball microphone which is fine or whatever microphone you're using, but it still won't record the actual audio playing out of Audition. So let's go ahead and see what we do in that instance. So when you need to do this, you go up to the Audition menu, Preferences, and then go to Audio Hardware. And this is where you're going to set up kind of what's what. What's coming, what device is going to use to record the sound and what device is going to use to play back the sound. So right now the default input, I changed it to my Blue Snowball microphone, so it's using the microphone now. This has really nothing to do with the tutorial video. This is if I want to record audio in Audition, so it's kind of weird because I'm recording the audio in Screen Flicks for the tutorial, but I might also want to show people how to record audio in Audition. So you can set up your snowball or whatever microphone to be the input, and this is where I had a little bit of trouble and I had to kind of play around with it. The default output is going to be the built-in output or whatever your default is. And basically what that means is it's going to use the speakers built into the computer. So normally that's what I want. If I'm just working in Audition alone and I'm not trying to do a tutorial video, I do want it to use the built-in output. And if I plug in my headphones, it's going to recognize that as built-in output as well because it's still using the speakers. It's just traveling through your headphones. So. The problem is for the tutorial video, we need to actually use the Soundflower driver. So you have the option for 16 or 2. I'm not sure. I tried 16, it didn't work. I don't even know what 16 means. So once I tried Soundflower 2, it worked. So this is my default output when I'm recording a tutorial video. So I'll click OK. And what's going to happen is when I play this song, you should be able to hear it as clearly as you hear me. Okay, so hopefully you heard that as clearly as you're hearing me right now. Now here's a quirk with this feature. Um, when you set this up in Screen Flick and you say record internal audio and then you come into Audition and you set it up so that it's going through the sound flower, you're going to play this audio to kind of practice your tutorial beforehand and it's not going to play through your headphones. It's You're not going to hear it at all. And so that automatically makes you think that it's not working because it is in fact not playing the audio like it should. Well, the tricky thing that I found out is that you have to actually be recording in Screen Flick so that you can hear the audio through Audition through Soundflower. So I know it's kind of convoluted, but if you're not recording in Screen Flick, you're not going to be able to hear the audio in Audition. So start recording something, test it out play it in Audition and see if it works and you should be good to go. So what that means is when you're done recording your tutorial video and you want Audition to work like normal, you're going to have to come back in here to Preferences Audio Hardware and change the default output back to your built-in output or wherever you had it or whatever you had it originally.